guys, welcome back to my channel. This is our huge October grocery haul. We are a one income family, family of five, and I try to do once a month huge grocery hauls because I don't like going to the grocery store every week. Usually about halfway through the month I have to get produce anyways. And then I have a very exciting announcement. At the end of the video, I got my first huge a sponsorship through a company or like affiliation through a company and I'll tell you guys at the end of the video. I am hot and flustered. It's dinner time so I'm just going to get right into it and show you what we got. So I have five five pound bags of flour, one bag of cheese for quesadillas. I have two or three still frozen in my deep freezer so I don't need that. These three mozzarella balls that I will shred and put on different meals. This is yogurt for my homemade yogurt, which is over there. If you guys watched my last video, it was the day in the life, I was explaining how I had two gallons of milk that I needed to use before they expired and I forgot to buy yogurt starter last month. So I thawed the milk, put it in my crock pot, heated it up like I'm supposed to. Now it's cooling down and now I have the yogurt so I'm gonna add it to it. So hopefully tomorrow morning I have yogurt. So far so good, the milk doesn't smell weird or look weird or anything. So hopefully this works out because that's pretty amazing if I was able to freeze milk to save money and then still turn it into yogurt. I'll keep you posted. And then I have eight pounds of butter. I think I'm gonna do a lot of baking. A friend of mine has a a couple apple trees at her mother-in-law's house so I want to make some Dutch apple pies so I have a lot of butter to make pie crust this is liquid egg whites my husband makes like a breakfast egg omelet thing he does something with these so this is for him three of these big heavy whipping creams because sometimes I use it for my husband's coffee as creamer and then I found a recipe to make homemade sour cream and homemade cream cheese. So I'm pretty sure the sour cream is with this and the cream cheese is with that yogurt. So I will let you know how that goes. Also, and then I just have milk. This is Chuck roast, Chuck pork shoulder, pork butt, pork butt steak or roast. So this is what I'm gonna use in my pozole recipe. And then a one loaf of French bread so I can make homemade garlic bread. And then down here I have two 10 pound bags of frozen chicken breast. And because my kitchen is so small, I'm gonna put this away and then put more groceries in the same spot. So hold on. Ta-da! Okay, this is my produce, obviously. We have three pounds of mandarins. I think this is about 12 oranges. And two of these bushels of radishes that will go with my pozole. I got two because I wasn't sure how many came in a thing, a bush, a bushel. So I got two. And then two potatoes for beef burritos. I got a bag of onions because I need to stop being lazy and using onion powder. Bananas for banana bread or if somebody wants it as a snack two five pound bags of apples. These jalapenos are from Aldi's because Walmart was out of jalapenos. Shocker, right? So I so they had the bag of jalapenos for Walmart pickup as an option and then they also had like loose jalapenos. So I said I wanted a pound of jalapenos. Both of them were out. So four jalapenos from Aldi. And then this is lettuce, this is cabbage, one is for uh, green enchiladas and the other is for pozole. I'm pretty sure I have that right. And then these three bell peppers are for vegan chili and then these four bell peppers will be used in green enchiladas, my husband's breakfast egg thing, and then two tomatoes. So the tomatoes and the jalapenos will go together for chile and then like another bag of jalapenos is for green enchiladas and another bag is for chicken tortilla soup. And there's use for all this, I swear. Another transition. All right, peeps, we're on the other side. So I got three gallons of white vinegar. Now that I'm only using white vinegar to clean everything in my house, I go through it a lot faster. And I got just a three pound bag of frozen berries because I'm not gonna be making smoothies as much because it's cold outside, it's cold in my house. And then a 60 count of eggs. Alrighty, here we are. This is only like 
half of the dried goods or what, I don't know what you would call this, because the other half is like here, but it looks crazy. So anyways, I have six pounds of whole wheat elbow noodles. So what is different with this grocery haul is I'm gonna try to make my own mac and cheese. I didn't even realize that it has the recipe on the box, so you don't need to buy mac and cheese from the store. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So wish me luck with that and hopefully my kids don't hate it. And then I have four boxes of penne and one box of spaghetti. This is just to fill up my stockpile. There's no specific recipe for it. Okay, she's, all right. So she's had frozen fruit and then she's had some chocolate ice cream because she finished her, she finished her kindness tree and that was her reward. And then she fell on the concrete today. So she's got a lot going on right here. I got ice cream. You got some ice cream? Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, and then I got saltines. This is also from Aldi. It's just something I forgot when I was making my Walmart pickup order. I forgot to add saltines. And then I have three of these two pound containers of hot cocoa mix. Cheese. Cheese. And then I have one of these things of tomato paste. I think it's a tube. I don't really know. I've never bought this brand of tomato paste before. But I'm trying to get more food that does not have citric acid in it. So, does this have, does it tell you the ingredients? Oh, it does. Tomato paste and salt. So if you look at the ingredients on other tomato products, it'll say tomato, tomato puree, water, salt, citric acid. And I looked up what citric acid is, and it is black mold that is grown on GMO food, something like that. And they put that in tomato products to make sure they don't go bad. And now that I've been canning tomatoes, I've learned that you can just put lemon juice in your tomato product. And obviously businesses have figured out how to make tomato products without using citric acid in it, which is black mold. I mean, y'all, that is crazy, it's weird, it's gross, and so I'm trying my hardest to reduce those type of grocery items in our home. So I'm gonna try out this tomato paste. I mean, I'm obviously gonna eat the tomato products I have because I already bought it and I'm not gonna let it go to waste, but in the future, I'm gonna be looking at the ingredients of a lot of our products. Obviously, a lot of things that I buy still have a lot of crazy ingredients in them, like hot cocoa powder. I don't even know what's in there. Or saltine crackers. I'm sure those aren't the healthiest or have the best ingredients. But it's just, I'm trying to make a conscious decision to slowly cut those products out. And I'm probably all red and flustered because it's really hot and I'm tired and it's dinner time and I'm just trying to get these groceries put away so we can have a kitchen table again to eat at. And I have six bags of semi-sweet chocolate chips. This is for baking or I'll put it in pancakes. And I got six too because that seems to be the right number for my stockpile. Two bottles of vanilla extract. I did buy onion powder. I know I said I bought onions, but if a recipe strictly says onion powder and I can't figure out how much diced onion to put in it, I have onion powder as backup. Three of these baking powders. Like this is a perfect example. Look at the ingredients. Where is it? Of baking powder. Cornstarch, sodium bicarbonate. My, I don't even know that last one. But if you look at Great Values baking powder, it will say that there is aluminum in it. And why is there aluminum in baking powder? I have no idea because obviously they can make it without aluminum and yeah, gross. All right, then I have two big containers of oats. This huge can of hominy because this is gonna go with my pozole. I have honey to add to my stockpile. And then these two, one is sweet condensed milk and the other one is evaporated milk to add to my stockpile peanut butter, chickpeas, and three of these bottles of syrup, and then one, two, three, four, five, five of these chicken broths for the stockpile. And this, excuse me, and this will be our last transition. All right, peeps, this is it. 
Oh my goodness, we've all survived this long grocery haul. So I have three bags of tortilla chips, two bags of pretzels, two eight count of large tortillas, burrito tortillas. Then I got another bag of candy. I'm just getting a bunch of chocolate because a friend of mine told me a couple years ago that if you put sweet candy with chocolate candy and you store it together, then the, the like smells mix and they don't taste right, something like that. Does that make sense? Tell me if you've heard of that because um, yeah, now I'm paranoid. So I just keep getting chocolate. And then I have two, two of the 40 count of corn tortillas because I have two or three 80 counts still frozen from last month. And then all they had was this box of Nutri-Grain bars because I picked every box that comes in the 16 count. I asked to get one of each flavor and they said they were out of everything and then just substituted it with one lonely box, which is fine. That'll just force me to be creative with other snacks to make them. And then I got wipes. We opened this. It didn't come like this. We opened it because we needed the wipes immediately. And then I have one, two, three. So I have four of these bags of egg noodles. And then this is us trying new chips. I don't know if this is gonna go well or not. So this is kind of like veggie straws, but it's not, obviously. And I was looking at the ingredients because I was just doing the most. And I can pronounce all of them besides like batata. I don't know what that is, but I assume it is food. And then these are almost the same. Just one is less fat. I don't know if they're going to taste the same. So I got both of them because in the ingredients, it's just potatoes, oil, and salt. So hopefully that goes over well with my children pray for me all and then finally six bags of these chocolate rice cakes because this is like my husband's sweet tooth it's like a healthy sweet tooth healthy you know healthy snack. and then that is it I am so tired it is unbelievable we've had a long day I've been awake since six anyway so this is the total for everything remember two items are from Aldi Okay, and so my announcement is... Are you watching? Okay. Azure Standard reached out to me and asked if I wanted to be an affiliate with their company. And I said, yes. So, if you guys are new to Azure Standard, you've never heard of them, I'm gonna put their website in the description box and I'm also gonna put my referral code link in there. And so what you do is you click on the link, you type in the referral code, and then you go to sign in, create an account. And if you order through them from my referral code, then I will get a credit once you've ordered a certain amount of money. So if you're interested in checking out Azure Standard, follow the link. It's a really great company. They have a variety of products. It's pretty much anything that you could get at any grocery store, but a healthier version of it. Not everything is organic. Not everything is even food. You can order things that aren't even food. You can order frozen things. You can order produce. Okay, sorry. I just realized that the lighting was really bad, so I should probably face the light because it is now dark outside. So anyway, so if you look on their website, you'll see that they have a little bit of everything. Like I just ordered um, food grade five gallon buckets to store the food I have. Anyways, because this is not like um, how I want it. I'd rather than be in airtight containers, not just bags on the floor. So yeah, definitely check them out. And what I do is I pick up my groceries because if I don't, I'm gonna have to pay shipping for like, a hundred pounds of food and I don't want to pay that. So what you do is you pick a specific drop site that is close to your area. Mine is an hour away, but I'm willing to drive that for the good food. So you pick a drop site and then you meet up there once a month with other people in your area. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can have it delivered, but you have to pay shipping and shipping's by weight. So just be careful with that. And if you guys have questions, my email is in my channel description. And I'll also put my email in the description and you can just email me if you have questions about how it works or how to sign up and all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And when I do do my next Azure 
standard pickup, which is, I think it's October 7th. It's like a Thursday. I will show you what I got and I can explain everything again on that video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.